Hello everyone! Today we are doing an updated video of Discord Reactive Images. I will leave a link on the description below. Once you have logged in and authorized, you should see this page. As you can see, there are two new things that got updated that we will go over today. The major update is the models. Now you can add more models for yourself to use and it saves them. No need to take them off and re-upload it. You can have up to eight different models. And to know which model will show on screen, make sure the box is selected and is white. I will show you how to select now. With one click, that's all it takes. The second new update is how to add the links to OBS is now a tiny bit different. In order to add the link, you need to create a browser source and I'm going to call it ENG Reactive. Now, before you do any of the two options, please make sure to delete what's in the URL. Okay, first option is to click the clipboard and just paste it on the URL. Make sure to click Control Audio via OBS and then hit OK. The second method is to literally click and drag it to OBS browser source, the URL. And there you go. You should pop up. You only pop up if you are in a Discord call. Remember, you need to be in a Discord call in order to pop up. Now let's review all the other info that are here. Okay, so now let's go over the first one. It says include your image in group view. So that means if you select it, when you put the group view, meaning like all your other friends are there with you in a group you're also gonna show up there i don't like it because i'm a vtuber so i'm already there i don't need to be a part of the group so i uncheck it the second option we have is the bounce effect as you can see my png character is moving up and down bouncing the third one as you can see says dim own an active image so as you can see right now that i'm talking my image is lit up when I'm talking. When I'm not talking, it's off. It's not lighting up. The fourth one is the cross effect. As you can see me talking, my little PNG buddy there is doing like this fading in, fading out, or a double me, whatever you want to call it. But that's cross effect. The fifth one is dim others and active image. So if you're in a group source, other images will be dim, just like yours. And then we have show names. You can click any of these that you like in your preference. And you could also change the size of the text that will show your name. And you also have image spacing. When you use the group source, it spaces each little PNG of each other, depending how much you want. And then image alignment, however you like. Lots of options to play with, lots of options to pick. You choose what you like. And last and not least, I'm going to explain about the group source. So the group source is basically, instead of adding each individual person, the group source is showing all your friends that are in the call. So as they join the call, they all just pop in into the PNG screen. If you see me streaming, you always see my buddies with me. But don't worry, I'll show you here just in case if you missed it. That's all for today, and I hope this new updated video helps everyone out. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Till next time.